This is Jenna Nikina on Eye Surgeon Talks, and today I'm talking about retinal laser. So I've talked previously about the YAG laser treatment, which we do for eyes. Today I'm going to be talking about what's called the argon laser treatment, or there are some other alternative laser uh, types, but all of them work on the retina. It's important to note that this is very distinct from the laser which people have to correct their vision to get rid of glasses. That is called eczema laser, and it is another type of laser we use in ophthalmology. So, retinal laser. Why do we do it? There are a number of conditions where retinal laser is indicated. Uh, the first of these, and one of the more common ones, is something called a laser retinopexy. Uh, and this is where, uh, if you have a retinal tear developing, you may need to treat it to reduce the risk of retinal detachment. So a laser retinopexy is where we put little laser spots all the way around the retinal tear, uh, which uh, sort of sticks it down more firmly and makes it less likely that the retina will detach. The other type of retinal laser we commonly perform is for diabetic problems in the eye. And this is called PRP or pan-retinal photocoagulation. There are a number of other conditions where this may be appropriate, uh, usually vascular occlusions, blood vessel problems at the back of the eye. But essentially, uh, this type of laser is where we put a scatter grid of lots of lots of laser spots around the edges of the retina, uh, which helps to control the growth of abnormal blood vessels in the retina. This type of laser, if very extensive, can affect your visual field, so it can affect your peripheral vision. And so it's important to bear in mind that if you've had lots of PRP laser treatment, this may affect your driving ability because the driving regulations stipulate a certain amount of visual field which you need to have uh, in the periphery in order to be able to drive. The other indications for retinal laser, there are a few um, sort of less common ones um, and including uh, some sort of more novel uh, ways of using retinal laser, something called micropulse treatment or subthreshold treatment. Um, and this is where we use very, very low power laser um, to just very gently stimulate the retina. And this has mostly been advocated in cases of CSR, which is central serous uh, choriretinopathy, as well as other conditions um, where you have some leakage and leakage from blood vessels in the retina. Um, so if you want to know more about these um, you can check out the information below.